Install the drive and connect the TDAS device to the computer using the original USB cable. Turn the RAID knob to the desired RAID mode. With the TDAS device off, press and hold the reset button on the back using a pin. While keeping the reset pressed, press the power button briefly to start the device. Wait for about 5 seconds. When the TDAS device emits two beeping sounds, it indicates that the RAID has been successfully created. At this point, you can release the pin. Go to the computer's disk management section and initialize the array. Install the drive and connect the TDAS device to the computer using the original USB cable. Switch the RAID knob to the single mode. And then turn off the TDAS device. With the TDAS device off, press and hold the reset button on the back using a pin. While keeping the reset pressed, press the power button briefly to start the device. Wait for about 5 seconds. When the TDAS device emits two beeping sounds, it indicates that the RAID has been successfully created. Then you can release the pin, and the uninitialized hard disk will be displayed on the computer. Turn off the TDAS device, then switch the RAID knob back to the desired RAID mode. With the TDAS device off, press and hold the reset button on the back using a pin. While keeping the reset pressed, press the power button briefly to start the device. Wait for about 5 seconds. When the TDAS device emits two beeping sounds, it indicates that the RAID has been successfully created. At this point, you can release the pin. Go to the computer's disk management section and initialize the array.